Whitney. And I'm Marissa. Today we're going to talk about how to assemble a cone for your pet and also some care instructions with a cone. So if your pet has surgery, you might need to have them wear a cone for a while while they heal just so they don't lick out all their sutures. Um, this one should fit very well on Junior. So to put that together, there's two spots here uh, for two separate sizes. And you just kind of want to compare it to the size of your pet's head and neck and see. And it looks like for Junior, this size is going to fit better. So you'll take the cone and first you want to go um, backwards, I guess, for lack of a better term. And there's little, let me pop it open. There's little tiny rivets here. Now that the cone is assembled, it should be loose enough that we can just slide it right over his head. And then, because he would obviously be able to get that off really easily if he wanted to, we're going to take some of this gauze and these loops, um, you see these here, that, that is what we assembled before. We'll pull that gauze through. Of course, he has lots of hair, so it's difficult. And then we'll want to tie a little bow. We want to make sure it's tight enough that it'll keep him from getting the cone off of his head, but not so tight that it'll choke him. So make sure you can still get a finger behind there some. And then we'll cut that short. And I will double tie it just in case. And then we'll cut off the excess. And that should keep him from getting the cone off of his head without choking him. All right, so sometimes after they wear the cone for a long time, this gauze piece um, can either just wear out and fall off or it'll get gross. Um, so you can always put their regular collar through these loops and make sure it's secured tightly so they can't get that cone off anymore. All right, so you wanna make sure you keep the cone on at all times. Um, if they can't eat with their cone on, you can take it off for meals. But you want to make sure if it is going to be off for meals, you put it back on afterwards and you keep an eye on them while it's off. You want to leave the cone on until your recheck when we take whatever sutures they need out. Um, and during that time, their cone will probably get pretty gross, especially dogs with all the slobber. Um, so you can take a wet rag or something and just gently clean around the sides and you just don't want to have them living in a yucky cone. Sometimes with the bigger cones too, if they hit them against like walls or something, they'll crack. So you can just put some duct tape over that. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And again, most of the time we send your pet home with the cone assembled. This was just to show you in case it falls off or we have to send you home with a new one, how to put it on and keep it on. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos. Thanks.